eating my favorite breakfast. I'm tired. I can finally proudly say that my bedroom is clean, but it has meant that I haven't done anything else today. I didn't even record my lunch or anything, but I had pad thai with the leftover chicken from last night, which isn't surprising. But we are now heading to my granny and grandas. They invited us around for a Chinese, so that's exciting. So we're gonna go around there, get a Chinese, and then I'm gonna do my workout later on tonight. Um, so don't worry, still gonna get it done. But yeah, I've just had my Chinese. So my Chinese order is shredded chili chicken, fried rice. That is my go-to every time, pretty much. There's actually not much else I would eat from the Chinese except for chicken fried rice. But yeah, I got shredded chili chicken tonight and it was lovely. And for the first time ever, I didn't eat too much. Like, I, usually whenever I'm getting Chinese, I'll just keep eating until I'm stuffed. But like, I just stopped and like was nice and calm with it. And now I feel better. I feel good about it. Um, I, I can't be bothered to work it like straight after eating, well not straight after, but after eating the Chinese you just want to kind of chill out, but I'm committed, I have to I have to be committed, but um, I've got this drink and I just took a drink of it there now and like all the wee bits of like powder went in my mouth, but like I've been shaking it for ages, usually it like is grand by now, but I don't know what's happening the night. I don't know what's happening. It's a bit better now. My lid's also getting mouldy. Not good. I'm falling apart here at the seams, guys. Finished, dead. That is all of my Shreddy 20 workouts done for week two of Shreddy Blast. I can't believe it. I just can't. Halfway there. Also, just like the back of your knees get really sweaty sometimes because that's what happened is happening to me right now. But yeah, um, I think one of my goals by the end of this Shreddy Blast is to be able to do high knees for one full minute because I mean last week I'd say I could do about 20 seconds and that was me like I had to stop for a second and then then go again um, this week maybe I'd say I'm up to maybe 40 minutes of high knees without stopping because so I've worked on a trick right 40 seconds 40 seconds without stopping yeah 40 minutes Oh, 40 seconds, whoops. Yeah, I just do high knees for 40 minutes without stopping. Um, but I worked with the trick, right? So, if I'm facing this way, I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, up to 20. So I'll do 20 facing this way. Then I'll turn to this side, do 20 straight away, then go back, face, the, face backwards and do 20 straight away, then go this way and do 20 straight away. And that takes up about 40 minutes, 40 seconds. Um, so then I need to stop and then I'd say I stop for about 10-15 seconds and then I go again till the end but it's my goal to keep going for one full minute by the end of this. I mean I don't know how realistic the goal is honestly I'm just going to throw it out there but we'll see. <sighs> also it got a bit it got a bit hairy there near the end. I think the last burst of high knees was a bit rough. I th honestly thought I was going to throw up. <laughs> Um, but I didn't, so I spared myself and this camera and David the trouble of seeing that. <laughs> so this is David's attempt at high knees for a minute because he doesn't, he, he hasn't fully grasped how hard it actually is. So I'm timing him for a full minute to see if he can do it. Okay, so go.
about 45 seconds which wasn't bad easy it's more than i did on the first <laughs> easy right so now we have mum we have mum out for this this one minute challenge to see if she can do high knees for a full minute okay right i can't even do three two one go <laughs> <laughs> i'm not wearing a right bra but i have to hold on them <laughs> mum <laughs> that's us everything done for the day and it is now movie time so one of David's favorite movies is Band Slam so that's what we're watching <laughs> he just rolled his eyes at me for saying that Guilty but pleasure. yeah we're watching Band Slam and I've got like the nicest snack ever to eat so I'm gonna show that to you now mm. so I have Greek style yogurt which is like 85p in Tesco's I've got the Tesco's granola underneath there you can't really see it nice like black strawberries and nice juicy no not black strawberries black grapes and nice juicy strawberries so to round off this week my final piece of advice in terms of body confidence issues would be to not be so hard on yourself and that is a lesson that somebody else taught me or told me it's not a lesson i can say that i put into practice a lot but it's something that I've been told that I think is important um, and something I wish I did better. But yeah, don't be so hard on yourself. And remember that in a few years' time, when you look back, you're not going to look back and say, I look like that, blah, blah, blah. You're going to look back and you're going to recall all the memories you had, all the fun times you had, all the people you were surrounded with. You'll not even care what you look like. like you'll not remember probably you'll only remember those good times and those memories that you'll cherish forever um so yeah that's a shorter one but don't be so hard on yourself like especially if you're doing something like shreddy and like you're really trying to stick at it and stuff because i know that like if i miss a workout and stuff some days i'll like proper get annoyed at myself and like start hating on myself and like if you don't lose however many points or something by the end of it or if you don't see as big a progress as you thought um it's fine like don't be hard on yourself like all of our bodies are different all of our bodies respond differently so um keep that in mind as well but yeah the moral of the story is don't be hard on yourself be kind to yourself because you deserve to be kind. No, you deserve you deserve kindness from yourself. So yeah. I'm like half asleep. So that was day twelve. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, alright, peace out, <laughs> night night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs 